A typical Thanksgiving meal consists of the items that are ripest during the mid-autumnal season. Pumpkin, cranberry, squash, bean, onion, radish, carrot, spinach, chestnut, leek, lettuce, gooseberry, potato, and of course, the turkey. These delicacies commemorate the successful harvest season of the pilgrims and Indians and the meal they enjoyed at Plymouth Rock. Here you see the common housewife foraging in preparation for a Thanksgiving meal. And here is Eric Fowler. 71 inches, 203 pounds, covered with a mop of coarse black hair, cursed with disquietingly broad shoulders he had inherited from his mother. He is intimidating but sensitive. Today, like his fellow Americans, Eric is on the search for the items necessary to bring his traditional feast to fruition. There's no easy way to explain it, but Eric's guests of honor tonight are the grass-eating, flower-picking, new dancing type, which for Eric unfortunately means he must find a vegan, kosher, fair trade, non-GMO, dairy-free, gluten-free, nut-free, soy-free, sugar-free, fat-free, bean paste turkey to appease his visitors an action widely regarded as sacrilege. Eric had no interest in looking for or even eating this ungodly piece of fowl, but he searched endlessly for the hippie granola turkey from hell until he saw this. Gobble. It was the plumpest, juiciest, fleshiest bird Eric had ever seen. So he bought it, prepared it, cooked it, and served it to his guests at his Thanksgiving table. The herbivores' palates were stripped of innocence that day as they dove straight into that tendony amassment of sin that everyone suspected was regular old fermented bean curd. This is like the best of all my entire life. Oh, how they enjoyed themselves that night. Eric entertained them too. When they laughed, he laughed. When they chatted, he joined in enthusiastically. As the jabber went on about the degradation of forests in a terrestrial ecosystem and whatnot, my parents forced me to eat chicken as a child. Eric became increasingly pale, and his head began to hurt, and his ears began to ring, and he couldn't.